Hello. First and foremost, I want to give honor to God all the time. I want to give God all the praise and all the glory because he wanted to be praised. Uh, I'm going to come on here speaking about a couple of things. First thing I want to speak about is it's time to fast and pray and seek God's face. Stay in the word of God. We have to start fasting and praying at these in the days. So much stuff is about to happen. Um, as I was sitting down here earlier, about 30 minutes ago, my body started feeling different. You know, my body started feeling different. I know something's about to happen. I don't know when. I heard earthquakes earlier. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's going to be California. It can be New York. I don't know where it's at. You know, I'm just feeling, I felt like panic attacks just coming on me. It's like my body was sh shifting. Like, it, it didn't feel good. And I finally, it left my body. God about to shift this world. God about to change this world up real soon. And God about to open a lot of sleepy people eyes. You know, people... Just because stuff don't come to pass when people speak about it, that don't mean it's about it's not gonna happen. All we doing is warning for you all to repent and to get right with God. We can't make you. All we can do is do what God say, because the blood would not be on our hands. As I was talking to a sister as well, she felt something on her. The prison of God was on her when I inboxed her a message. About how she feel right now. So something's about to happen. I don't know when, what or when it's going to happen. I'm about to pray and seek God on it. But I'm telling you all. Something's about to happen. Be prepared at all times. Start fasting and praying. When you fast. Ask God how many days he wants you to fast for. Just take, remove things from you. Like if you want to stop eating certain things. Or watching TV. Anything you want. To remove from yourself while you're fasting, do it. Get some oil. Um, I can't find my oil. It's up there. But get some oil. And you pray over it. And you ask God to bless it. And you go every day. You wash your face in the morning. And you put the oil on your forehead. And you pray in the closet to God. Don't let nobody know when you fast and you're praying because people can pray against you. Um, and you ask God to seek him and hear his voice loud and clear and let your prayer, your prayer request be known to God. Ask God to show you things because God will show you stuff. Um, but you can do it all kinds of ways to fast and pray. But, you know, sometimes you can not eat until, like, certain times. From 6 to 12, 6 in the morning, 12 after, in the afternoon. I mean, it depends on how you want to do it. Uh, stop eating fried food, fast from TV, fast from the internet, fast from anything you want to fast from that's stopping you from getting closer to God. And stay in the word of God. Because like I said, um, right now, stuff is about to start happening. I don't know when, but I'll be seeking God um, and praying a scripture I got led to. I kept hearing in my spirit, but I got to make sure it's go with me and post it on Facebook. And I will speak on it on here as well. But I just come on here for a little while to say, it's time to fast and pray. If you're not saved, it's time to confess. You're not living right. You're tired of living that sinful life. It's time to let go and give it to God. If your life is falling apart. It's time to give it to God. I'm telling you, so many people are stressing that the devil is a lie. So many people is worrying the devil is a lie. They got suicide spirits. The devil is a lie. Homosexual spirits. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. I come against them spirits right now in the name of Jesus that you shall live and not die in the name of Jesus. I speak life into your body right now in the name of Jesus that no weapons formed against you shall prosper. You got to start speaking things in your life. Stop saying that you're sick and start saying you healed in the name of Jesus. It's time to remove people out your life. Them people that's negative, that bring your spirits down, they want you to be down because they down. Remove them people. Remove that dead weight. 
When you move them, watch how better you start feeling. When you get closer to God, watch how God bless you. Watch how God start giving you things. God don't want us to feel bad. He don't want us to be fear. Have fear in us. Fear is not of God. So many people are not sleeping at nighttime because they're not living right. And God trying to wake you up to get your attention. So many people are dying. When I say dying, dying every day. You pray over your kids every day. You cover your family in the blood of Jesus. You pray over your homes. You speak life into your kids' body, your family, every day. Pray, pray, pray. People think I'm crazy. I don't care. I'm crazy for God. If I didn't love people the way I say, I would make these videos. I wouldn't spread the word of God every day. I'm doing this because God telling me to do this. To spread his word. So I ask you all, stay encouraged. Stay prayed up. Stay asking and pray because time is running out. Time is ticking. And things are about to start happening real soon. Keep your eyes open. Remove all that clutter out your ear. Sometimes God is speaking to you, but you can't hear because you got all that confusion and all that mess in your ears. It's time to get right before it's too late. Be blessed.